Hello, Brian Lynch here. It's September 25th, 2011. I'm uh, out at the house, and uh, right now I'm looking at a uh, rather large uh, stump uh, that uh, used to be a rather large tree that used to take up most of the front yard. Uh, and in its place, I've put in, uh, in the place of one tree, I've put in six trees. I've got a, a plum here. I've got a, a new apple tree out there that's an early gold. It's my first early apple. Uh, two European plums, two Japanese plums, and uh, another pear tree to bring the total number of pear trees I have in my yard here up to four. And in addition to uh, putting in all these uh, trees, I also have a bunch of yellow markers placed in the yard uh, that were put there uh, thanks to the gas company. Let's zoom in here. Uh, uh, uh. Hopefully that you can read that. Warning, gas line. Yes, so uh, before I do any uh, planting uh, in my yard, I always like to have the utilities marked. Uh, in Indiana, all you have to do is call 811, uh, tell them where you are, tell them what you're planning on doing, and uh, the utility companies will come out and mark your utilities absolutely free. And uh, it's really useful in uh, figuring out where you want to plant stuff. Uh, first off, you don't want to uh, accidentally hit a gas line while planting because that would uh, just ruin your day. And uh, second of all, uh, just in case this uh, utility line ever needs to be dug up and repaired for some reason, I really don't want a, uh, my trees being damaged. Now, it would really be terrible to have uh, you know, a 10-year-old tree that's producing fruit wonderfully uh, to be damaged because of uh, you know, some utility work that has to be done. So I've tried to space all these trees a reasonable distance away from this gas line. There's a cherry tree right there that's a little close, maybe two and a half feet away. But in general, I've tried to avoid uh, planting over the gas line whenever possible. 